so class 10 we are going to start chapter that is proposal as we have read yesterday that lomo he has come with up a proposal to marry natalia chubukov's daughter okay but what was the problem what was the problem that lomo was suffering from lomo was suffering from the problem of palpitations what is palpitation it is during you can say when there is increase in heart beat sometimes our involuntary muscles they don't behave in a normal manner and this cause twitching and you can say pulling of one or the other organ of the body and this is the main thing that he was suffering from and it is just because of this reason that he is always avoiding any kind of anxiety and it is just because of this reason that he was not coming to the exact point when chubuko was asking him that why he has come what is the reason of his visit to his house so he was not directly coming to it because he was he never wanted to get excited to know the answer whether he was ready to you can say ready to uh, ready to let her daughter marry him or not and yesterday also we have also studied that what was the reason that lomo want to get married the first reason was that he was of 35 years of age and that is of course a critical age to get married and most oh, more over uh, he wanted to live a you can say regular kind of life so why he found natalia to be the perfect match for himself he found natalia to be the perfect match for himself as he thought that she is of course a good housekeeper she is well educated also and more over what and she is of course good looking and what more as he was expecting in a wife to be there so this is the reason so out of it we have come to know two main things are uh, for lomo also as well as for chubuko so chubuko when he has when you can say uh, when lomo has come up to chubuko's house he thought that he has come here in order to ask for some kind of help so this shows that he was of course money minded in nature okay and lomo was well mannered also down to earth person also but ultimately he is suffering from palpitations from the problem of palpitations he was suffering from right so on the same we have uh, we have read that chubuko has come to know the reason of lomo's visit to his house and after all when natalia she comes on the scene she wanted to know the reason of coming of lomo in such a you can say groomed dress how why he has come in such a groomed dress there and ultimately lomo has told that last point i'm going to read here in order to relate to the previous lecture yes he said i shall try to be brief you must know honor natalia stepnova that i have long since my childhood in fact had the privilege of knowing your family he said okay now let me come to the brief point and i want to tell you that since my childhood i completely know your family i have the privilege means i am always privileged because i am your neighbor and i know very well your family my late aunt and her husband from whom as you know i inherited my land always had the greatest respect for your father and your late mother so what he said he said my late aunt late aunt means his aunt was dead and her husband and they and lomo is inheriting the property of her aunt as well as her husband he said i have inherited my land and i have they also means my aunt and her husband they of course had great respect for your father as well as your late mother the lomovs and the chubukovs have always had the most friendly and i might almost say the most affectionate regard for each other so he said that we of course we two families that is the lomovs as well as the chubukovs we of course had great respect for each other since long time and we are of course had developed a good relation with each other also just a moment please and just a moment
and what he said that we had of course shared a good relationship with each other also just a moment let me put it on the right track yes here so you will remember that my oxen need oats and as you know my land is a near neighbor of yours and there is you also know that we are neighbor of our lands means your land is adjoining my land and you will remember that my oxen meadows touch your birch woods birch woods are of course the type of trees and oxen meadows the name of the meadows meadows means open area grassland okay so here uh, here the problem is generated now this made natalia evoke is she said your oxen meadows now see they are my oxen meadows they touch your birch woods natalia she got she got annoyed what she said excuse me my interrupting you you say my oxen meadows but are they yours she said your oxen meadows why are you talking that these are your oxen meadows you don't have any right to say this lomo yes mine he said no doubt there is that these are my oxen meadows natalia what are you talking about oxen meadows are ours not yours she is turning to be wild she is saying you are talking about oxen meadows these are ours it doesn't belong to you lomo no mine honor natalia stepnova so he said no these are of course mine it's not yours natalia again excited well i never knew that before how do you make that out she said oh my god i never knew that these were your oxen meadows but please let me know how you have made that your oxen meadows if they are ours lomo how he said how how you are saying this how i'm speaking of those oxen meadows which are wedged means Uh, they are being fixed there in between your birch woods and burnt marsh and he said actually i'm speaking of those oxen meadows which are my property for such a long time and these are between those birch woods and burnt marsh i'm talking about these natalia said yes yes they are ours natalia saying yes yes you know i even i'm talking about the same thing lomo no you are mistaken honor natalia that they are mine he said no natalia you are mistaken here don't take it as they are yours they are actually mine now it means natalia is also money minded in nature natalia just think ivan vesselvich how long have they been yours now she said please ivan vesselvich please let me know that for how long they were yours lomov again surprised how long as long as i can remember he says that you are saying that how long as long as i can remember they are mine natalia says really you want get me to believe that she's now like making fun of him oh my god she said i'm not believing you what you are saying lomo but you can see from the documents on and natalia stepnova oxen meadows it's true were once the subject of dispute subject of dispute means there was confusion of its ownership that who actually owns these now what she said she said you can see natamulomov is coming with evidence he say natalia you can see from the documents there is no doubt that at one time it was a subject of dispute subject of dispute means there was dispute over this land there was problem over this land that who knows but now every day everybody knows that they are mine but now he said that dispute has been sorted out and everybody knew that it is mine there is nothing to argue about that he said no, no need to argue about that what is the fun of arguing you see my aunt's grandmother gave the free use of these meadows in perpetuity means in continuity to the peasants of your father's grandfather in return for which they were to make bricks for her so now you know that in the older times when land is given to you can say some persons for use and in return in in return means you can say in mode of you can say paying for it 
okay they are doing some other work for them so in this manner what he is saying he is saying you know that my aunt's grandmother okay so she has given these meadows to peasants of your father's grandfather and in, and in return what they were doing they were making bricks for her underline this line in your books the peasants belonging to your father's grandfather had the free use of meadows for 40 years and had got into the habit of regarding them as their own when it happened that he said actually those peasants because they were continually using this land and they had made use of this land for almost 40 years and now they thought that it is their land this is the reason why the dispute was there but now it has been cleared there is no doubt that these meadows are mine natalia no it isn't at all like that she is again you can say against she is again completely against it she said no what are you saying is not absolutely right both grandfather and great grandfather reckoned that their land extended to burnt marsh which means that oxen meadows were ours they both were of the view point they thought that oxen that burnt marsh that whatever the land comes till burnt marsh <coughs> is theirs and oxen meadows they come between that burnt marsh so it is ours not yours i don't see what there is to argue about it's simply silly she said what is the reason of arguing about that when it is but obvious and clear that it is ours and why you are saying so lomo i'll show you the documents natalia he said okay don't worry i'll show you all i'll show you the documents natalia no you are simply joking or making fun of me what a surprise we have had the land for nearly 300 years and then we are suddenly told that it is it isn't ours ivan vessel which i can hardly believe my own ears so sh what she said she said you are simply joking you are just making fun of the situation for almost 300 years we know we are using this land we are owning this land and suddenly someone comes to us and tells that this is not your land Ivan how can i believe this i can't believe my ears what you are saying these meadows are not worth much to me they only come to 5 decents this is the old you can say meter of measurement in russian community okay like we measure the land in acres and all in the older times so this is one and are worth perhaps 30 rup 300 rupees but i can't stay a stand unfairness say what you will i can't stand unfairness so she said actually this land it doesn't cost cost much and in the present times it must be of only 300 rubles but the thing is that i can't stand unfairness if somebody is doing unfairness i'm uh, being unfair with us i can't she said that i can't tolerate it and she said i even i can't even uh, i definitely stand against it no more hear me out i implore you means implore you means beg to beg someone earnestly to request someone earnestly i implore you means he is still humble in making his request the peasant of your father's grandfather as i have already had the honor of explaining to you used to bake bricks for my aunt's grandmother now my aunt's grandmother wishing to make them a pleasant she, he was talking and in between natalia spoke lomov said please listen to me i have already told you this fact that my aunt's grandmother she has given this land to the peasants and these peasants they were making bricks for my grand aunt's grandmother she he was talking about this natalia broke in between what she said i can't make head or tail out of all this about aunts and grandfathers and grandmother she said head or tail means i'm not able to understand anything what you are talking about you're talking about grandfather grandmothers and i'm not able to make any head or tail out of it the meadows are ours that's all she said i know the one thing that meadows are ours and there is no fight over this Lomov said, "No, these are mine. 
Natalia, no hours. You can go on proving it for two days on end and you can go and put on 15 dress jackets. But I tell you, they are hours, hours and hours. I don't want anything of yours and I don't want to give anything of mine. So there. No, Natalia, she said, if you keep on trying for two days to prove this, that they are yours, I can't believe this. But the reality is only that this. You can put on five, 15 dress jackets means you will change different attires and you will try different ways to prove that, that these oxen meadows are yours. She said, no, I never believe this because oxen meadows are ours and ours and only ours. And she said, there is no question about it because oxen meadows are ours and this is the reality. <coughs> no more. Natalia Stepnova, I don't want the meadows but I'm acting on principle. If you like, I'll make you a present to of them. No, she said, Natalia, listen to me. I don't want those meadows, but I want the reality. I'm talking about reality. What is the reality? And if you want, I can present these oxen meadows to you as a gift. Natalia says, I can make you a present of them myself because they are mine. She said, even if I want, I can give it to you as a present because they actually belong to me, not you. Your behavior, Ivan Russell, which is strange to say the least. She's saying you're not behaving yourself. You're getting rude. Actually, she herself has started all that and she herself is rude. Up to this, we have always thought of you as a good neighbor, a friend. Last year, we lent you our threshing machine. Although on that account, we had to put off our own threshing till November, but you behave to us as if we were gypsies, 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 you know, tribal people who don't have their fixed living place. They're moving from one place to another. So she said, now she's reminding him again and again, you know, when you have a fight with someone, then you make the person remember, you know, at that point, I, I help you. And I have done this for, I have done this for you. And now you are doing this to me. Similarly, Natalia is doing. So what she's saying, she's saying, you remember last year we have lent you our threshing machine because you want to use it. And you know, after giving this threshing machine to you, we have to put out, put off our threshing means we have delayed our threshing till November. And what do you think that we are gypsies? We don't have work to complete. Giving me my own land indeed. And what do you think? You are going to give me my own land? No, really. That's not at all neighborly. She said earlier we are thinking that you are a good neighbor. But now what you are saying is of course not neighborly. You are not behaving like a good neighbor. In my opinion, if it's impudent. Impudent means... If it's even impudent, if you want to know, it's even impudent means not sharing any kind of respect. Impudent means not showing any respect. It means not showing any respect. No, she said, if you think that I'm not showing any kind of respect, this is your problem, not mine. No more. Then you make out that I'm a land grabber. That land grabber means I grab someone's land. She said, then what you want to say? That I'm a land grabber? Madam, never in my life have I grabbed anybody else's land and I shan't allow anybody to accuse me of having done so. He said, in my entire life, I have never taken anybody's right and nobody in the entire area can blame me. Excuse, ex accuse me means can blame me of doing that because I have not done this thing with anybody. Quickly steps to the carap. Okay. Carap is actually, it is <coughs> carap. Carap is open, it is open topped glass, flask means he wanted to drink water. Okay, open top glass flask which is open at the top. 
okay and drinks more water because he is going to develop anxiety and out of anxiety he will suffer from palpitation and he is afraid of that situation this is one reason that why lamo was keeping his anger under control so oxen meadows are mine so he said finally oxen meadows are mine natalia it's not true they are ours and lamo said no it's mine so they had a petty fight over these things now here it's not true i'll prove it i'll send my mores out to the meadows this very day natalia said no they are ours and i mores means who cut the grass i'll send them and i prove that these are mine lobo said what my mores will be there this very day she said i'll send my mores there lobo i will give it to them in the net if they will come i will hit them out of my field natalia you dare how dare you to do that lobo he clutches at his heart hold his heart oxen meadows are mine you understand these are mine natalia please don't shout you can shout yourself horse in your own house but here i must ask you to restrain yourself she said don't shout in my house you don't have any right to shout in in anybody's house if you want to speak in this kind of horse rough voice you can shout in your house but stop yourself from speaking like that here lamov if it is wasn't ma'am for this awful excruciating palpitation if my whole life whole inside wasn't upset i would talk to you in a different way and he yells ox and meadows are mine so he said if i don't have this fear of suffering from palpitation anxiety i would have talked to you in a different manner in a very hoarse manner but actually these are mine now they are fighting no mine it's ours so finally this happens and at that point chubuko enters so finally see what he has come for lamo and why where this fight has led them to so they have come off the topic that what exactly the reason of his coming to an england natalia you will see that how Nat natalia immediately changes herself when she comes to know that he has come for um, he, she, that he has come with a marriage proposal for her so that's all for today and now you can ask me your doubts if you have